Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Sorry, I've kept you waiting. Um, took a little bit of a hiatus. I just needed a little, you know, I made it an insane goal to make a video for you guys every day this, this month, but it didn't work out and I do apologize for that. But uh, I feel rejuvenated and I'm ready to make some more content. Um, I think most recently the subject matter that I'd like to talk to you guys about is how people choose to wait until their dog gets older to start training. Now, I have yet to actually hear a rational thought or anything that makes any sort of sense as to why somebody would do that. All I really go back to is all the reasons why you actually shouldn't wait. Um, and I'm going to share some of that with you guys in this video right here. And if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and ring the bell. Or don't. Um, in any case, so reasons why you shouldn't wait. All right. The first reason why you shouldn't wait is because it, it, it's never too early to start. All right. It's never too early to start because this is like your opportunity. People are wasting the most important and valuable opportunity in the dog's life to set the foundation for behaviors and for things that you're going to want in the future. If you wait to train your dog till they get older, you lose out on that opportunity because your dog is only this age once. You get one opportunity to do this. And if you, for some reason, want to wait, well, don't complain later on. Well, you're going to complain because that's what people do and they end up having to hire me. You can easily eliminate a lot of the behaviors that you're going to end up complaining about by starting the training process early. Now, you don't have to complicate things. I have a little puppy myself. All I work on right now is engagement, shaping behaviors, engaging with the dog, having a good time with the dog, spending lots of time, potty training. Very simple at this point in the game. Because all that really matters is positive experiences and engaging with her person, right? But there is a, there is a little way to do that, you know? Food, hand-feeding meals, um, structure, crate training. These are the things that you need to be incorporating right now, okay? Because that is what we need to do to get to where we want to be, all right? People, for some reason, have this preconceived notion that the dog is just going to grow up to be the dog that they picture in their mind. That is a fabrication. That does, that does not happen. Okay, It's actually unfair as well because then they end up thinking, or maybe you had a dog previously to the one that you got, right? And all of a sudden you're like, oh, well, so-and-so didn't do that and this dog does this. So now you resent this dog here who just has yet to actually be taught all because you thought, oh, well, my old dog didn't need this and this and this. That's unfair and it's unrealistic to expect that from a completely new vessel. Okay, So do not wait. Don't wait. Anybody that tells you to wait, all right? Tell them to take a good little gander at their phone and ask them to start bashing their own face with it. Bang, 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 bang. Multiple times until they knock some sense into themselves. You do not want to wait. You do not want to wait. It is the single most influential time in the dog's life, okay? This is your opportunity. And if you're going to wait till it gets older, like I've probably said five times in this video, you've done wasted it and you're not going to get that opportunity back. All right, I got a bunch of videos of me working with puppies on my channel. Just scroll through and have a look at them. Super easy, super basic. You're teaching markers. You're not even necessarily incorporating any verbal commands yet. You're just shaping and luring and engaging. That's all that matters. Literally, that's all that matters. Potty training, crate training, structure. I mean, it's pretty damn simple. I think... And I say this all the time, and I think this all the time, the information is out there. It's whether or not the people really want to put forth the effort. That's really what it boils down to. Does it mean enough to you to actually not only learn the information, but more importantly, to incorporate the information that you learn? A lot of people don't like the idea of keeping a puppy uh, on leash inside the house. That goes along with potty training, dude. You gotta have control over the dog, but the most important thing is fucking, sorry, I got some DMs. I'm on my Instagram page. I'm actually waiting for somebody on a Zoom call for a Zoom call. I have, uh, I have Zoom calls. You can go to my website and check that out if you'd like. Um, I could help you from anywhere in the world with your specific issue. Every situation is different, okay? Every situation, especially when you're dealing with like problematic behavior, um, behavior modification type stuff, true butthead type stuff. What I'm talking about right now is like the basic shit, super basic, but I know how many people need basic information. That's why I always encourage people, if your heart is in this dog shit, like dog training is something you may want to consider because I'm telling you right now, in 2022, most people 
don't know shit about dogs. And that is a plum fact. Most people don't seek the information. And also going back to what I was just talking about, people don't like the news. Hey, bad news, man. You're going to have to have your young pup on a leash inside the house to sort of suggest that it's your house before it's theirs. Because that's the truth. It's your house before it's their house. And if you just let this little puppy fucking have a party in your house the whole time with no rules or structure or boundaries, your dog's going to be walking all over you. That's what they will do. They are manipulative, self-serving animals. People want to say they're eager to please. They're eager to get what the fuck they want. And that is a fact, Jack. All right, I hope this video brought some sort of... I know I'm a little bit rough around the edges and some people get a little offended by it, but I'm for the stronger personalities, I guess. And that's okay. You're not supposed to be for everybody. I'm Captain Chad Gabs. This is TFE TV, where our number one mission and goal is to help you become more informed, better educated, and better dog owners altogether. And the whole point of all of that is so that you can enjoy your life together better, okay? Because when you got a dog that doesn't know what the fuck to do and it's confused and shit, all right, it's up to us to sort of help you get on the page where you guys are becoming a little bit more towards one flesh so that so you guys can do shit without fucking, hey, frustration and anger. Fuck all that noise. Captain, subscribe to the channel. Out. Yes! Good girl! All right, take two. If you're still here, thank you so much. It's take two because I actually forgot to turn my mic on. Again, I hate that. This is a bag of carnivore dog treats, human grade. You can actually eat these as well. A lot, of, a lot of people ask me what I use as a high value motivator. If the dog isn't wanting to take its kibble, but we need to get our work in, right here is what we're using, folks. Carnivore dog, human grade, very limited ingredients. I'm somebody that likes to read the ingredients on what I'm putting into my dog's body because I'm sort of the same, sort of the same way myself. Uh, it, it sort of determines like a lot of the time how long your dog lives or even how long you live, right? So um, I love so much about the carnivore dog. The first and foremost is that I believe dogs are carnivores. A lot of people are like, oh, they're omnivores. I'm like, no, they're not. They're like, oh, yeah, fucking the Purina ad. The first thing that comes up on Google says that they're omnivores. Oh, Purina? You mean the, the company that sells glorified cardboard and calls it dog food? Oh, cool. I'm going to listen to those people. No, I'm actually going to listen to my own research and I, a, a deep dive. All right. And I also look at how my dog responds to how I feed them, which is completely 100% raw flesh. All right. My dog has a sick ass hip line. My dog has very limited. I'm not going to get into that. That's a video for another time. Carnivore dog right here is family owned all right and i may or may not have gotten a sponsorship by them i'm not gonna say but right there they got i mean they got all kinds of flaves dude you know they got all kinds of flaves what is this the beef sliders are my p particular fave because you can bust them apart really easily and you're very resourceful if you're if you like to be resourceful the, the beef patties the bacon jerky does the same thing but them being family owned and them being so kind to send a little bit to us um, this is what we love to use and we're going to give them a plug right now. Carnivore dog. I may or may not have a fucking, um, discount code. I'm going to find out if I do. And if I do, you could check the link in the description below. And if you're still watching this video this far into the game, I really appreciate it. Um, if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And, uh, don't forget to like the video too. That helps a lot or don't whatever.